interesting when you read the New Testament, what were these guys reading? What were they meditating on? There's already a book in existence when they talk about the Word of God, especially St. Paul, who's writing in the 50s, 60s, no, not like 1960s. It's not like he has Abbey Road on in the background while he's writing something, you know? But he's writing in the early 60s, like the first century 60s. So he's writing and he's quoting from the Old Testament, especially the book of Romans. Romans it's one of his later books. He writes it late 60s. Well, obviously before 69, because that's when he was beheaded. So hopefully he wrote something before then. But in his first chapter, Romans 1.17, he says, the righteous by faith shall live, or the righteous shall live by faith. We know this verse. We hear it all the time. It's a major confirmation verse. But did you know, which is half the battle, where that came from or from where that came, if you're really particular about your prepositions? The reality is it came from Habakkuk 2, verse 4. Habakkuk 2, 4 says this, The just man by faith shall live. It's amazing how when you read through the New Testament, even Jesus himself quotes, like when he's tempted, he quotes from Deuteronomy twice to the devil. So when you look at all these lovely parts of the New Testament, it brings out this richness for you when you see from where it came in the Old Testament. That these are people of the book, people of the Holy Spirit, who draw from the deep well of the Old Testament to continue teaching the eternal will of God. That the righteous, by faith, shall live. Not that we shall just live unto eternity, but we live right here, right now. We live in the humble faith that we receive all the grace from God on account of Christ, and then we live gracious lives with our neighbor. That's how we live. That's what it means to live by faith. We trust in God for our salvation, and we live in unconditional love for our neighbor. So investigate, research, discover the beautiful parts of the New Testament that are drawn from the Old Testament. Romans 1.17, Habakkuk 2 verse 4. Trust me, there's a lot more there, and it's fun times learning it. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university, with values.